you guys turn the corner in the fourth quarter there and get some stops defensively? Um, uh, you know, they, they, they just kept on hitting and hitting. Uh, they had, they had a, a lot of fight in them and kept making tough shots. And for us, it was more about staying the course. Uh, we stayed the course and, uh, you know, once we were able to string together a run uh, there down the stretch, um, that was like the only time that we could get that separation because up till then it was just, um, uh, they're just extremely tough. What about the three you hit there? Uh, obviously, you know, you got your, your big two who are knocking them down, but you, you, you hit a really big one there. Uh, they put y'all ahead to stay. Yeah, um, you know, we, you know, we talked about, um, uh, you know, them uh, helping at the rim a lot and guys did a good job finding me and, um, uh, you know, just, just staying ready and, and knocking it down, um, you know, I felt like it was big for us. And then uh, we went down and defended and got stops when we needed. Your celebration on that three, what were we feeling in that moment? And it looked like you were pointing, I don't know if it was the crowd or the bench. Yeah, no, no. Um, yeah, there was somebody there. I'm not going to call him out, but he was, uh, I appreciate it because he got me going. Yeah. You know, he said some stuff there that um, I wasn't very pleased with. Um, and I, I, I took it took it to heart and um, I was able to get that shot. So, you know, I appreciate him for, you know, for, for talking trash to me. You know, some, some people you can talk trash to, you talk trash to me, probably not good for you. Yeah, and so, what are you just feeling throughout the game? You get the two early fouls, you're hearing that trash talk. They're kind of going at you offensively. Like, what, what are you just feeling throughout the course of that? Stay the course. Just stay in the course. That was the biggest thing for, for us, uh, for our plan. Trey was making some tough shots. Uh, he, he played unbelievable. But for us, was just to continue to execute our plan, stay with it, and eventually, you know, we were able to, uh, you know, to break them down. That, uh, that inbound at the end there, never seen four times failed. Uh, no, I've never seen that either. Yeah. I mean, how, how, how much is that kind of like epitomizing everything you guys accomplished tonight? Yeah, it, it's, it's great to see it, but also it takes, uh, you know, their mental strength in that, in that moment just to continue to stay focused, to continue to do the right things, communicating on the switching and all those things. So uh, uh, that, that was obviously big right there. And, and we talked about finishing the game. Um, staying locked in, and I felt like tonight we were able to, you know, to finish it. You know, in the last game, it's like you know Joe didn't call that timeout, and you guys kind of floundered. Tonight, it seemed like everything in his game plan just like was picture perfect. Yeah, I mean, it, it was, you know, I felt for last game for the most part we were fine, um, but tonight there was that sense of urgency, and we understood how important it was to not extend the series to to get the job done and. Um, you know, just re really grateful, um, um, you know, to God to giving me this opportunity and to giving our group this opportunity to close it out and, and finish it out tonight. How much extra is there for you now going to play Philadelphia? How much what? Extra is there for you going to play Philadelphia? Uh, man, I'm just excited. You know, that we're that we moved on Atlanta. Uh, I just want to spend time on them. Um, they, they they were unbelievable. Uh, the way that that group came together. Um, I know that there was a lot of questions about that locker room and things like that. But uh, uh, those guys uh, really rallied together, really played for one another, uh, and they represented the city of Atlanta pretty well. The, uh, I know you haven't had time to think about Joel Embiid much, but obviously it's a very different challenge. Um, what types of, how is he going to test you differently, I guess, with Mr. Uh, well, obviously, you know, he's uh, uh, the, sh the focus shifts, you know, in this series more perimeter uh, with Joel is uh, a little bit of everything else. And uh, we've said it before, a guy like Joel, uh, the whole team's got to be very, very engaged. And, um, and, and we saw what Brooklyn did there with doubling and all that stuff. So we'll definitely be looking at all that stuff and uh, make sure that obviously we come up with a good plan. You took an extra pump when you played here because of your history. Here. Um, is it past that, or is it still a little special when you come back here? Uh, it's always special. It's always special. Um, uh, uh, you know, Atlanta is, is where it started for me. It's, it's, uh, it is home for me. So, um, uh, but, but more than that, I was just excited to be here and, uh, and, and to be able to, you know, to close the series out.
What did, what did Grant give you guys tonight coming up? Man, Grant was huge. Um, uh, so professional throughout all this. Um, uncertainty, things like that. He did not make excuses. His number was called. He stepped up, made big shots, defensive plays. Just so key for us to close this game. We do not close this game if Grant doesn't come in and step up and play the, the way that he did. Presented by your New England Ford dealers. Built for America. Built Ford Proud.